My name's Adam and I'm an artist out of Northern Wisconsin. Last year, 2023, I made a YouTube video going over my favorite tattoo stencil printer. And now it's 2024 and a whole bunch of stencil printers are coming out and I think I found the perfect one to show you guys. Now when shopping for a tattoo stencil printer, it's kind of confusing because there's so many different options and there's different kind of printers. So which one is for you? They have like inkjet printers. They have thermal fax printers. They have, you know, this really, really cheap one right here that you guys can get on Amazon that, that is very confusing. I had to literally write the instructions on how to use it on it. It's just so confusing. Everyone got one of these. Nobody likes it. Or there's like a budget one that's portable. Like this one, this was last year's, my favorite model from last year, the Stigma printer. I got a whole video on that. Or there's a very expensive, high quality one like this. This is a $700 compact, high resolution stencil printer right here called the Brother Printer. Or there is one that is better than all of them. And that is the Wormhole stencil printer. And I got it right here. Look at that. Now I worked with Wormhole Tattoo Supplies in the past. They actually have a tattoo machine that they came out with and I did a full review on that. I did that review. They liked it. They said, hey, I have a stencil printer. Would you like to check it out? And I said, yes, because I looked at it and I said, that is the one. This tattoo stencil printer prints in high resolution. You could print any image. It's wireless and it is literally the most simple to use stencil printer I have ever used. I'm going to leave a link for the wormhole tattoo stencil printer down in the video description. And then next to that link, there should be a discount code so you guys can get a discount on this stencil printer. Okay, so now we are going to do a full unboxing and review on this bad boy. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on this printer. Let's go. All right, let's check out the wormhole portable tattoo printer and see what we all get. Information on the outside of the box says that this is a Bluetooth printer and that it has a 2,500 milliamp battery, making this a fully wireless stencil printer. Opening up the box, we will be greeted with the user guide. We don't need to go over the user guide because we're going to go over everything in this video. Included in the box is a USB Type-C charger cable to charge your stencil printer. On the back side of the stencil printer, we will see some additional information. It says paper width 210 millimeters. It says the power input and it says that the interface is Bluetooth plus USB. Taking a look at the outside of the stencil printer, it has this nice copper tone to it and it's very sleek, compact and professional looking. The top half of the stencil printer does flip open. This is not for feeding your paper in. This is actually in case you have a paper jam, you can access your paper through this top flap. The type C port to charge your tattoo stencil printer is located right on the back corner. Notice what the stencil printer does when I first turn it on. Tattoo is ready. Anytime you do something with the stencil printer, it actually has voice activation where the printer talks to you and it's very annoying. Later in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open up the printer and actually disconnect that speaker. Now, because the stencil printer is a Bluetooth stencil printer, it actually requires an app to print your stencils. Now, I believe any Bluetooth printer app will work for printing a stencil off on this stencil printer. To print off your stencils, Wormhole Tattoo Supplies and I also suggest that you guys get the Tattoo Printer app. This app is available on all Android devices, your cell phone included, or iOS devices. The Tattoo Printer app is a free app that you guys could actually download right now before you even get your stencil printer to see how you like the app. Literally just turn on the app and then turn on your stencil printer and it should connect automatically. It is very simple. Now this is a wireless thermal printer, so of course we are going to have to use a thermal paper inside of our printer. For all of my testing, I am just using the standard classic thermal spirit paper. I'll leave a link to it down in the video description. To use the stencil paper, you're going to want to remove this paper on the inside. This paper is literally just garbage. Just throw it away. You are then going to want to spin your stencil paper around so it's yellow side up, and then you're going to want to feed it into the front slot on your stencil printer. Your printer will then sense that you put some stencil paper in it, and it will suck it up and lock it into place ready for you to print. I find it is best to put the paper in before you open the app but after you have the paper in open up the app select the image you would like to print and then print it your stencil printer will then activate and slowly pull the paper inside of it while printing on it spitting it out of the other end 
As simple as that. And then obviously you would cut your stencil out, shave and clean your client, and then you would put some stencil solution on your client and then apply the stencil to their skin. But the stencil printer and this app have a lot more fancy features, so let me show you them all right now. All right, so this app has a lot of fancy features. I'm going to show you guys the basics and you guys can always download the app for free and check it out for yourself. First off on the app, the app has a large catalog of pre-drawn designs that you guys can use on the tattoo stencil printer. You could use any of the pre-made designs or you can upload any of your own images off your device onto this app. Then using the app, you could edit your design any way you want. You could change it to grayscale, you could sharpen it, you could change the contrast, the saturation, and the brightness very easily through the app. You can apply filters, you can apply a sketch filter that will automatically stencil your tattoo. You can rotate the image, you can resize the image, you can pull it up on a piece of paper in the app where it actually has tape measures on the side so you can size it to certain dimensions if you need to. They even have a 3D reference mode where you can put your tattoo design on on a 3d model and so you can see what your tattoo is going to look like before you even do your tattoo let me show you how to add your own image open the app click on the photograph at the bottom this is going to open up your photo gallery then select the photo inside your gallery to add it to the app it's that simple now to resize the photo you're going to want to click edit in the bottom left hand corner select the size you want and click confirm and then my favorite part of this app is that you could actually have the app stencil your design for you, saving you lots of time. Click on this sketch icon in the bottom left hand corner to turn on sketch mode, which is basically your stencil mode. You then have eight different presets to pick from going from most detailed and dark to less detailed and light. The more detailed your tattoo design is, the more complicated the stencil is going to be to read. I've been using apps to stencil my tattoos for many years, and I can tell you right now, it is something you get used to over time. Stick around because in just a little bit, I'm going to show you guys another app that is actually better at stenciling your tattoos. We were able to print this stencil, no problem, and it's high resolution, and it has all the detail that the image had on the iPad. We're going to load the stencil printer with some more thermal paper and then I'm going to show you guys a very advanced tattoo printed off using the stencil printer. The nice thing about using an iPad is that that gives you full access to the app store so you have lots of apps to choose from. My favorite app designed for tattoo artists by tattoo artists is actually called Ghostline. It is strictly for stenciling tattoos. We're going to click on add photo, go into our gallery and we're going to actually grab this photo of Michael Myers and we're going to stencil this and print it off on this printer. There is a lot of features on this app but i'm going to go through just the basics real quick i always click on this first it is sharpen you can actually drag this bar right here to change the sharpness of your image bringing out the edges of your detail and then we could click on stencil mode and there is a few different stencil modes we could choose from i like using just the standard stock stencil mode and then we have two settings that we can change we could move around this bar on the left that changes the detail or we can move around the bar on the right that changes the intensity of the details that it is picking up the thing I actually like about this app is that it actually makes the black parts of your image black on your stencil, which other companies do not do for some reason on their stencil apps. Making stencils using the Ghostline app is literally the most readable, best way to make a stencil using an app. Now, as far as I believe, we can only print to a Wi-Fi printer using the Ghostline app. And in this case, we have to print to a Bluetooth printer. So we're going to have to save the image and then we're actually going to have to put the image into the Tattoo Printer app and print it off of there. Now on the print screen, we have several different densities we can print the stencil at. This setting basically changes how dark your stencil prints off on the thermal paper. The more detailed and dark your design is, the lighter you're going to want to print it, and then the more thin-lined your design is, the stronger and darker you're going to want to print it. Here's the difference between printing the stencil off light and printing the stencil off dark. The details in the one printed off light is actually more crisp and clean and easier to read compared to the one printed off dark where it all bleeds together. Here's the stencil of Michael Myers right next to the reference. This is exactly how I would stencil it if I was to do it on a real person. This printer captured every single detail that I would want or need. Shoosh! Look at them details, boy! Shoosh! All right, so what are my final thoughts on this stencil printer? I think that this stencil printer can replace your main stencil printer at your tattoo studio or be your main travel 
tattoo stencil printer for tattoo conventions. The only problem that I got with this stencil printer is that when you turn it on, it makes a sound and it says wormhole tattoo is ready. Tattoo is ready. And then when you finish printing something, it says print, print successful or print complete or something. I actually disabled the speaker inside of this, so I don't have that anymore. But when I first got it, it is frustrating because you can't change like the volume of it or anything. And it's like, why would we want it? Like, it's cool advertising for them <laughs> that it says like wormhole tattoo and all that. It's cool that the printer says that, but why would we want that, you know, yelling really loud through our you know you know what happens if we have to print a stencil like 30 times because we just keep messing it up like putting it on someone or something and you know the client all the client hears is print successful print successful print successful, like 30 times like and it's so loud it even sa says down here like audio broadcast on it it's like that is not a selling feature to me like the printer in general is amazing don't get me wrong guys this is like literally the best printer i think you guys could get alongside like an inkjet printer or, or something where the paper is just automatically in it but there's so many problems with inkjet printers that this one like beats it by a lot and it's, it's just so simple to put the paper in and everything but one of the features like i wouldn't advertise that as a feature we don't want like for the audio broadcast we don't want like our tattoo equipment speaking <laughs> to us what happens if we use a tattoo machine and you, and you selected the voltage and it, or, or something you turned it on it was like power on and then you went through the voltage it was like seven volts eight volts nine volts we don't want that we don't want our tattoo equipment talking to us it's just not cool i'm going to show you guys how to actually disconnect the speaker inside of it and i am going to warn you guys right now opening up your stencil printer will void your warranty if you guys break your stencil printer it is not my fault and if you guys break your stencil printer they will not fix it because you are not supposed to be opening it it's very simple to disactivate the speaker you're going to want to open up the top lid and then you'll see two screws you take off those two screws that will pop off the front plate and then if you see the speaker on the bottom, you will see a cable coming out of it going to a motherboard. You are going to want to pull out that cable from the motherboard, being very gentle that you do not wreck the cable. And then that will disactivate your speaker. Very simple. Put it all back together. Screws in the same spot. And then there you go. Your speaker will be disactivated. Let's get this YouTube channel up to 10,000 subscribers. And I want to get this video up over 400 likes that's how many likes the last video got let's get this one over 400 likes everyone have a good day peace out